Hello everyone. Today I want to show you my wire hose clamp tool that I just made. And it's a very comfortable thing to produce these wire hose clamps that are all the rage on YouTube at the moment. So basically we have a 20 times 20 millimeter bar stock, aluminium it is, and at the tip I first made it a bit conical and then I put in a 6 millimeter hole so I could press in this ejector pin which is from a very high grade steel and at the tip I took it to the grinder and at first I shaped it in a way that looks like a slot screwdriver but the important part is that it is also rounded off at the top at the bottom and at the tip I cut in a little notch which is about 1.5 millimeter wide it should be at least as wide as the wire diameter is that you're going to use. And the novelty compared to most of the tools is that I applied a ratchet mechanism for the way I wind up the wire. And to get this ratchet I just took the cheapest ratchet wrench I could find, two of them, and then I cut off the ratchet part and in this ratchet part there's just nut which is threaded on a bolt and on the other side it will look like this bolt will come out and it can come out even further when more wire is wound up and how this winding action works I will show you now. So this bolt has a ratchet action and to drive it afterwards I take this ratchet wrench, yeah, this quarter inch ratchet and so I can wind up the wire like this. I will show you a piece of soft copper wire I'll just put it in like this until it comes out the other end and the wire will go through this slot to the top or to the front where all this action happens and now I'll move it like this and then as it winds up, the bolt gets pushed out gradually, but you don't need that many windings in reality, and there's still a bit of distance left. So this is how the ratchet mechanism works. So. Uh, this is the original bolt I used and uh, I cut it here so that there's just 5 mm thread left. So the unthreaded part goes all the way through and you shouldn't have thread here so it doesn't grind on the aluminium that much. And um, oops, you might wonder in which direction the ratchet works and it works in a direction so that the pull on the wire will not screw off the nut at the end but it will tighten it so the nut will not come loose on its own while the system is exposed to tension from the wire itself this is the hose i'm going to put my clamp on and to 
check the length of the wire I will need. I build the string. There's a knot at the end, and it's a loop with a length of exactly 30 centimeter. So I'm going to apply it like I would apply the wire. Just put the bended part on top, thread the knot through once, and twice. And now it is applied and wound in a way like the hose clamp wire is going to be applied. And now I just take a ruler here so I can check the length now here. It's about 20 centimeters but I only need 15 centimeters so I have 5 centimeters too much here and as I have two strings here it's 10 centimeters too much. So the whole length of the string is 60 centimeters so I'm going to cut the wire to 50 centimeters then it should fit exactly. Here I have cut the wire and if it comes from a coil you should take a few seconds to straighten it because then it's much easier to work with afterwards. So at first we need to find the center which is about here. Then you take a rounded plier and you apply a band in there until both of the ends are reasonably parallel to each other. Also the last end here you should apply some bending to it like this so that it works nice and smooth around here like that. Now I have taken stainless steel wire which is quite hard so it's a bit of work to put it around here was the first loop. Then we really need strong hands for this. Okay, and the second loop which comes out of the center. See where we're going. And before applying the tensioning tool, you should drag a bit with some pliers again. Sorting this out to be a bit nicer at first. So, yeah, this looks quite okay at the beginning. So, now we are going to apply this tensioning tool. We're going to thread the wire 
through the outer holes here. This. And like that. And already make turn here. And a bit of turn here, so the wire won't come out again on its own. So then we need to apply the tip here at the center and this and on the other side put some tension to it. All right. So, whoopsie. So here's the final chance. Should do it a bit nicer. This. So we want to create some space here and here to locate the banded ends in afterwards. And how the rest looks is not that much important. But you could put the wire together here a bit, there maybe. And now what I have found out, what is uh, necessary to create an equal tension around here, is to apply some spray grease, just a tiny dash, and this helps to uh, the wire to move over the surface when it's dragged by the tension of this tool here. So now we are going to apply the final tension, and we carefully do it side by side. And this is the good thing here, we can apply the tension individually to both sides. And I can show you right now. This is how the wire turns around and bolts like that. And what you have to be careful about is this position here. So you see that the two wires dig into the rubber a bit and this digging in should be equal on both sides. And you can individually adjust it with those screws. So a tiny bit of tension here and here. Oops. Okay, that's it. So then we just put the tool over like this. And then we cut the wires on both sides. Then we cut them about five millimeter short, and it's necessary that you do not cut them like this, but parallel to the tube. Otherwise, you will get a sharp edge, which could hurt you. The sharp edge is still here, but it's oriented sideways, so it's less likely to cause harm. Then I take 
these pliers and bend the rest of the wires down in a way that they will be seated exactly between the inner and the outer winding. smooth you can run your finger around it without snagging on the edges here because they are buried between those wires so here you can see the finished clamp and as you can see the result is quite convincing. So, thanks for watching.